carrots and chives at the top here and the secret ingredient is a chili so be careful no scratching where you should be <laughs> Garden Allotments. Hi guys and welcome back to Dan's Kitchen Garden Allotment. As you can see, I'm not at the allotment today. I'm in the kitchen and this is going to be a completely different video than usual. So please come along and subscribe to the channel. So then guys, all it is to say is let's get this video started. So then guys, as I've been promising you for the past three or four months, I've said that cooking videos will be coming in the winter. As some of you might know on the channel, I'm a chef by trade, so I thought what I'll do is I'll grow it at the allotment and in the greenhouse here, and then I will prepare some delicious homemade winter food for you all to enjoy. So what I've done, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have homemade butternut squash soup. Yes, I said homemade delicious butternut squash soup. And there isn't much ingredients come from the supermarket at all. Let me just show you what, what you need from the supermarket or uh, any of your convenient stalls if you're growing from the allotment. So all I need for this recipe is some olive oil. This is the one I pick out in Lidl. This is garlic olive oil. It tastes absolutely brilliant. So it's lovely and jubbly. So that will be going in basically salt and pepper and then one block of vegetable stock that is all I've brought um, brought from the shops for this recipe this is what I have grown from my allotment this year to use in this soup let me get up here so as you can see what you need for this recipe is butternut squash soup the main ingredient some garlic some onions, it doesn't matter if they're red or white, I like a mixture. Some carrots and chives at the top here. And the secret ingredient is a chilli. So be careful, no scratching where you should be. <laughs> so then guys, let's turn the camera around and let's show you what I'm doing. So then, as I've just said, that is for four people. For four people, what I would do in a small pot is I would probably use three medium sized carrots, two onions, probably about that much chives, only a couple of slices of chili because we don't want it too spicy and with the butternut squash probably about half that there so let's get this started so i'm just going to move this to the side and the first thing we need to do is get the onions cut just remembering any of this leftover cut off and go back into the allotment and uh, into the compost bin and then just get used down for next year so basically all you need is two onions for this I've changed my ways over the last year or so on how to do it um, I didn't use to put the chilli in, but I tell you what, it gives it a perfect kick. It's absolutely lovely. So move this to the side. When you cut the onions, it doesn't matter. 
on how big you do them. So basically I'm trying a two camera setup for this, so let me know how you think the cameras are doing in the two camera setup. I haven't got the other camera on just yet. Just breaking the cloves of garlic off. I'm probably gonna start off with about two garlic, two garlic cloves in this one here. Just pop it off, give it a bang, and a few slices. Tell you what, that onion is strong. I can feel that onion running through. It's even making me cry it's that strong. Just one more garlic I'm doing now. I'm going to do now is turn the other camera on. So then what you want to start with is turn the oven on to six. Obviously make sure the oven switched on first, the top cooker switched on. Here I only cook with electric because we haven't got the gas option. So preferably at work I would have cooked with gas. Just add a little bit of oil. This is the olive oil. I'm using this is the garlic olive oil. This is why you don't need too many cloves for. Sorry for the jitter. And we're going to put them in. And the last, as that's warmed up, all you want to do is make sure that you wash your hands 100% after using this, and that is the chili. And all you want to do is one, two, I'm going to go like that, well, two and a bit half. Make sure your hands are well washed after that. So then guys, I'm going to wait for that to get hot and then I'll bring you back in a bit. So then, they both pots have been searing away now. I've cut the onions and that into this one so I can make the bigger pot. And that's just stirring away. And this one's been on slightly longer. This is what we're looking for, if you can see. Just slightly charred onion and garlic and the chilli. So now that can be pulled off for a couple of minutes and left to the side. Left to the side until I'm ready. Don't get to turn electric off or it'll cost more money. <laughs> so then. As we move on now, we're going to be moving on with the butternut squash. And for the four people, so four people, we'll probably only need probably about that, I would say. Really heavy. When you cut butternut squash, just be very careful of your fingers. That can be used as the big one. You can see nice yellow inside. A lot of people peel them with a peeler or they just take it down the side and just get rid of all that skin. Me, why waste the skin when there's no need to? Just give it a little wash. Be careful your fingers because it is bloody sharp and butternut squash is a nightmare to get through. Just remember it doesn't have to be pretty. That is normally the worst one going. When you 
cut the butternut squash, all you want to do is put it in the bowl. Put it in the tin. Right, so I think that will be enough for this this soup. So we'll move on to the next ingredient, and that is probably about two carrots. As you can see, they're from the allotment. They're a little bit squiggly. Can't buy these ones from them in the supermarket, but never mind. Perfect amount there, and that will just go in there. What we do now just fill up the kettle. Turn the heat back on. There we are, that's perfect. Now just allow that to come up to the simmer and then I'll bring you back. About 20 minutes, it's all boiled down and it's starting to turn into a lovely soup. I did just give it a quick whisk just because of the sound over the camera so I didn't want to have too much but this is what you're looking for in the consistency and as you can see it's quite delicious so all it all it entails now is grabbing the whisk and giving it a little bit of a zap So as you can see that has all been whisked up now into a beautiful soup. So all I'm going to do is got about a handful of chives in there, just put them in and then give it another blend. <laughs> So I know a lot of you are going to say, wow, that's a lot of soup for four people. But I guarantee you, once you've tasted this soup, you won't go back and you will enjoy it. As you can see, there's no artificial thickness or anything like that in there. This is just whole grown, homegrown vegetables. And it is a beautiful consistency and it is really lovely to eat. All I do now is leave it for about another five minutes just to make sure all their flavors are mixed in the chives are all there and everything and then it's ready to serve and it'll be ready to plate up so i'll bring you back when it's ready to plate up guys yum 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 homemade butternut squash can't beat it 
So then, we're ready to serve this delicious soup. So what we're going to do first is bring over the delicious soup. Get a little ladle. This is a beautiful soup after five minutes in the thing. All I'm gonna do is ladle some of that soup into this bowl. You can freeze it, anything up to about six months and you can keep it for a long time, even when you die. This isn't gonna last long in my house here. Just get a little bit of tissue to clean up the side. And on top, all we do, all we can add, is a few little chili flakes just for extra flavor. Some chives. Just a touch of cream if you like it. And you can't beat some homemade bread French stick. That video will be coming very soon for the homemade French stick. So stay tuned for that. You can't tell me guys, that doesn't look delicious. Absolutely fantastic, easy, lovely, and really nice in the winter. So what I'm gonna do guys is at the end of this video, I will put a full recipe of this menu in the description box below so if you want to do this go along to the description box and have a look in there as well so there's only one thing to do for me to taste it so let's have a taste so then guys only one more thing to do and that is a taste of it so let's get a taste and to see if it's perfect wow That's meant to be for four. I don't think it's gonna be four. I think it's gonna be one. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. The chili at the end just adds a little bit of kick to it just to liven it up a little bit more, but it's absolutely fantastic. And I hope that you guys go along and follow this recipe too. And let me know how you get on with it in the comment section below. So then guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please go along and hit that like button if you did. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button to come along and join the family as well. And also, if you know someone who likes butternut squash soup or just likes the channel in overall, please go over and hit that and share the video to them as well. Until the next video, guys, thank you very much for coming along with me on my butternut squash soup, whatever. <laughs> Until the next one, I'll catch you later. Thank you.